our air condition is not working it does blow air but it doesn't have a cool air so that fan there's a fan inside that's when the thermostat you set to fan that's the fan is blowing but there are two more components there's a fan here outside see this is the fan and there's a compressor in this unit so there are three components thermostat and this fan and the compressor we are going to take off this panel here and once we take this off we see the component inside here so here is a relay the relay is controlled by the thermostat and the the unit here we have is a carrier this is the model number but it's very common most air condition built this way there's a low voltage relay here so if i use a, a something insulated like a pencil or chopstick i press this relay see you you hear the humming sound here and uh, see it's trying to start but it's not starting because you see this capacitor has a problem the capacitor you see is bulged here on the top it's very likely it will have a problem so let's uh, try to start the fan we can move this see when it's humming we can move it and it will try it will start you try to start but you still don't have a, a cold air because the compressor may not start okay so the fan could start but without the compressor you still don't have a cool air we need to really test the capacitor but you cannot test this is a high voltage 220 so here i'm going to disconnect i will pull this out i put this on the top but you can't work on this the capacitor is charged we don't know whether the capacitor is good if it's good we'll have a charge so we use a screwdriver to just do this see there's no spark it doesn't hold any charge we just discharge the charge in the capacitor and then we take a photo so we know how it's connected one thing is make sure you take a picture before you disconnect and the second thing is good practice you see the two wire i label c for common and one for herm and one for fan there are three way to tell a capacitor is a is a bad 99 percent is you see the bulge is bad and uh, if it's still flat and when you do uh, this short to discharge if you see spark maybe this is still a good one and the third way is you if you have a meter you can uh, measure this capacitance wait so, i don't see how it's like botched see this is not flat see this is getting higher on the center there's a liquid inside when it's heated and it will pop this if this is bad what are you going to replace and here's the spec this is made by GE the first is part number and then it's a 45 microfarad that's for the compressor and the 5 microfarad for the fan and it's protected this one is the bad one it's higher it's uh, about out and this is a new one you see it's very flat so that's the difference and you need to also compare the number this is a 45 and 45 microfarad and 5 microfarad and 5 microfarad the same voltage so this is the same capacitor well one is a lot taller than the other yeah but it's uh, those three numbers and voltage we use the masking tape to mark which one is which one is fan i uh, putting the fan in and this is a herm and for the compressor and the other two are common marked here common this capacitor has a two one is for the fan one is for the compressor okay so we can turn on the power and give it a try so the power the arm has to be pointing up we press this see it start so with a replacement of the capacitor this works this is a bad one a new one definitely works what if the capacitor had actually been fine what how what else can you test what else could be wrong with it now let me turn this off 
Okay, so you're going to tell us what else we might be able to test if it turns out the capacitor was not the problem. There are three components. One is thermostat, could be a problem. That's why we use an insulator to press the relay. So we bypass the thermostat. Another is the fan. The fan may not turn, so that's why you have to push this a little bit to make it turning. So if it turns with your help, that means the motor is still good. The only thing is the capacitor is not good, but if it doesn't turn with your help, either the wiring is not good or the motor is bad. Now let's look at the compressor. Compressor, there's two probability. It could be either the capacitor is bad. In our case, the capacitor was bad. Or if the capacitor is good, but the compressor, whether it's working, you put your hand here. See, there's a two a tube in here. One is small, one is big. The big one is supposed to be cool. This would be warmer. So you have to feel there's a temperature difference. So this is for split unit. Split unit, you can see this. If it's a package unit, then you have to feel the heat exchanger and feel, feel whether there's hot air coming to the heat exchange. Whether compressor works or not, you can put your hand here. It's a condenser. If the air is really hot, that means the compressor is working. Otherwise, the compressor is not working. Those are the three components you can divide and conquer and see which part has the problems.